good day sir oh, good day sir uh, the aristotle's definition of tragedy is very compact he says the tragedy is an imitation of an action that is serious complete and of a certain magnitude embellish with each kind of artistic ornament the several kinds being found in the separate parts of the play in the form of action not of narrative through pity and fear affecting the proper purgation of these emotions it's a brilliant tapping of the uh, you know the many sidedness of the tragedy affair mm -hmm. uh, tragedy is an imitation definitely it imitates human life uh, human nature uh, and complete in itself imitation of an action that is serious and complete in itself yes uh, real life flows on real life doesn't end but to storyify it has to have a beginning and an end with an artistic effect on the mind of the spectator the background of tragedy was actually religious meaning the greeks philosophy of life that the gods keep a watch over what we do and they sometimes uh, uh, bear offense at our transgressions of certain boundaries that is their tragedy be, be, you know behind tragedy this implication is there do not transgress your limits o oh mortal man don't go beyond that so greek dramaturgy had this uh, religious kind of uh, bindings so tragedy is an action human action uh, which is complete complete refers to the structuration meaning the beginning the rising action the climax or crisis the and then the denouement and then the final catastrophe kata meaning end strophe meaning movement so it has to be artistically organized and having magnitude magnitude once again gets back to the point of where the protagonist tragic hero comes to collide with the intents of the gods agamemnon for example or uh, antigone for example willy nilly knowingly unknowingly he or she enters into collision course with gods that is called hamartia it's a fatal flaw so that is a great story it is not a a, a, a cock and bull story it it has a magnitude it has implications for our way of living how we should or shouldn't live and the tragic hero's greatness the spaudeus aristotle calls spaudeus meaning the chest of the protagonist is big he is big hearted he is watchable admirable therefore pity and fear are on to how does how do this pity and fear uh, get to be managed through the manipulation of the scene so plot character thought diction spectacle melody all these are embellishments they get into you know the artistic hole and pity and fear which together form the emotional effects of tragedy ensure a catharsis outlet this outlet is not for the tragic hero this is for the audience spectator or the reader so tragedy also has a salutary good healthy effect clinical effect on the on those that watch so this is a brilliant kind of um, statement i startled wow that he drove so much into this compacted statement sir why aristotle put more emphasis on plot than the character and he says that uh, plot is more important than character there can be a tragedy without character but there can't be a tragedy without plot why is it so yeah that's that's a basic question uh, it, it may appear very paradoxical that uh, nowadays we think that the plot is actually where we ensconce the the characters but the definition of character in aristotle is different character means moral character in aristotle the moral disposition the 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 you know the greatness the the ability to take challenge to the ability to retain your human dignity and to fight that is the character you have a character in you man in that sense character doesn't mean the dramatic cast or the 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 dramatic characters and plot is important because plot in includes the dramatic cast in order to execute 
how human frailty is open and vulnerable to existential punishments and uh, uh, you know retribution, nemesis. That's why Aristotle's term muthos, which is cognate with myth, the word myth, it is mythifying, meaning through storytelling, it's also creating a paradigm for the audience, reader, spectator. So uh, our uh, ordinary uh, assumption of or perception of character as dramatic uh, uh, figures is, doesn't apply in character. Character is moral character. And where the character transgresses, there is a slight you know, moral overleap or transgression. Therefore, the retribution process starts and the tragic hero you know the definition of the tragic hero includes at one place um, uh, that the tragic hero will keep on prospering till a point will come where there will be a total reversal of fortune coming upon the hero totally unawares. The hero doesn't know how things how circumstances are slowly seceding from him, how they have gone against him. So, at one point, fortune, fate, the goddess fortune, turns the wheel, tragedy as a wheel. Action rises to the top point. Then, it climbs down. That point, that apexing, where it takes place, that reversal of fortune, that is called peripeteya. And slowly the tragic hero then comes to understand, oh my goodness, we are now at odds with our circumstance and uh, you know I cannot finally make my way. That is called recognition or discovery, Aristotle's term, anagnoresis, ana meaning proper, noresis meaning to come to know, recognition. So anagnoresis is that's you know, part of the denouma process. The following action process. De numa, meaning you are nuancing, you are plying the story down and taking to its completeness, the catastrophe. So structure, it has a reference to the structure. Once again. Thank you, sir.